everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends 6 inch Spider Man Homecoming Spider Man figure from Hasbro. Now, this version of Spider Man is the version in his homemade costume, as we see in the movie. And it comes packaged in the same style packaging we see with all the Marvel Legends. You've got the Legends series logo up at the top. The figure's clearly displayed in the window box. Down below, we have the Spider Man Homecoming logo, since this is a movie figure, and then the name of the character. On the very top of the box, we have a symbol for Spider-Man. On the sides of the packaging, we have images of Spider-Man. Now, the images show Spider-Man in his regular suit, not the homemade suit. And it's the same on both sides. And then on the back of the packaging, we have a look at the actual figure, a brief bio in multiple languages. And then down below, instead of a normal Build-A-Figure, this wave includes pieces of the Vulture, the movie Vulture's wings, and it shows you all the figures in the wave that you're going to need to get in order to complete that. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging along with the other contents. Okay, so first of all, this figure comes with one of the actual pieces to the Vulture's wings, and you can see they've broken it down. They don't even have the little propeller piece attached to it. That's a separate piece that'll come with one of the other figures. Now, I'll be looking at the Vulture's wings in its own review once I've looked at all the other figures in this wave. So the figure also comes with two pairs of hands. So you get a pair of open web shooting hands and you get a pair of closed fisted hands. Now they actually mix the pair up. So when you take it out of the packaging, the figure you get one, the right hand has got the closed fist and the left hand has got one of the web shooting hands. But then they also give you a right web shooting hand and then a right or a left closed fist. So you can mix and match however you want. And switching out the hands is easy. You just pull off the hand you want to replace. You've got the little peg on the hand and the hole in the arm. The web shooters are not a separate piece so those are actually sculpted onto the arm of the figure and then you just plug in the hand that you want to replace it with and it'll fit in nice and tight and then finally you get two versions of his hoodie that he wears this is just you know part of a homemade costume so he's wearing a sweatshirt with a hoodie on it and so you can either have the hoodie so it's down around his back or you can have him actually wearing the hoodie over his head so basically, this is a separate piece on the figure. The one that's on the figure when you first take it out of the packaging is the hoodie that's down on his back. But if you want to have him wearing the hoodie, you can just pop the head off and the head just attaches with a ball joint. And then you can remove this piece. It's a separate piece. And then you can put on um, with this. Uh, the easiest way to do it is to put the head in the hoodie itself and then plug the head back into the ball joint. And it should pop in there. And I think it looks pretty good. It fits around his head. The hoodie fits around his head pretty good. So, you know, it doesn't look too big or anything. So I think they've done an actually pretty good job with this. Now, some of you customizers out there might be wondering if this hoodie would work with the Scarlet Spider-Man figure, who also wears a hoodie, a homemade type hoodie outfit. And the answer is yes. Now, obviously, it's not the right color. You'd have to paint it. And you still have the, the hoodie that's down on his back, which on this one is actually sculpted on the figure, so you can't actually remove that. But still, it looks pretty good. So if you could paint it the right blue color to match the shirt, it would actually look pretty good on this figure, I think. So for the figure itself, I think Hasbro's done a pretty good job here. I like the head sculpt. You can notice that the eyes kind of stick out, so it looks like he's wearing goggles, and then it's got this mask that's over the goggles. So I like that, and he's got the white that's just painted on the eyes with the black outline. But I like how it looks like actual goggles sticking out of the mask, which is nice. And then you got some nice line work here on the mask as well, which I think looks pretty good. And then I like the hoodie, the spider symbols just painted on there. You even have a little bit of a zipper or string here painted black on the on this hoodie piece itself. And then you've got like pockets here sculpted. So I think that looks good and I like the wrinkles. And then he's got just the lighter blue shirt that he's wearing underneath. And then his web shooters on the outside. And they're done with just a metallic silver. And I like even with like the hands, I like how they've done that. He's just wearing a pair of looks like bike gloves or something and black on one side and red on the other. And I like how they sculpted the fingers so they're down in a web shooting position, at least with the web shooting hands and then the closed fisted hands. You know, again, you can still make out the fingers and everything, which is pretty good. 
And then it looks like he's wearing sweatpants. And I like the little string there to give it that sweatpant look. And the wrinkles look pretty good. And then he's just wearing a pair of uh, boots. I'm not sure what these boots, how, how he did the boots. But you've got the little, uh, little fold over there. And you've got some sculpting detail with the line work and everything. And then you've got the black outrim on the bottom of the feet. So this figure stands just under six inches tall. Here he is next to the Captain America Civil War Spider-Man figure that came in the box set. And you can see this homemade Spider-Man figure is a hair taller than that one. And here's a comparison with that ultimate teenage Spider-Man figure. And you can see this homemade Spider-Man figure is taller than that one. And then here's a comparison with the Scarlet Spider-Man, which is taller. And then finally, here's a comparison with the Captain America Civil War Iron Man movie figure. And you can see Iron Man's taller. And I think the scale between these two is pretty good. So for articulation, you can turn the head to the left and to the right. It's on a ball hinge joint, so he can look down good. And he can look back pretty good. Now, if you have the hood on over the head, that's going to limit some of that head movement. But overall, he's got pretty good head movement there. Arms attached with your standard ball hinge joint there at the shoulders. So he can get his arm out good, and he's got good rotation. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got a double-jointed elbow, so good bending at the elbow. He's got swivels at the wrist and hinges on the hands, so good up and down movement with the hands. He's got an ab crunch joint, so he can crunch down about that much, and he can look back about that much. He's got a waist swivel. Legs are attached with ball joints, but he can only do the splits about that much. He can get his leg forward good, up high, and he can do his leg out and back. He's got a thigh swivel. He's got a double-jointed knee, so good bending at the knee. He's got a boot cuff type swivel, and then hinges on the feet, so good up and down movement with the feet. And then he does have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. And just a note, when you have the hood piece that covers the head, you can still turn the head because the hood is a separate piece, so it'll turn with the figure's head. So you still get movement with the, uh, with the head there. Um, he can't look down as well. You can have him look down a little bit, but it, does, it looks kind of funny when he's looking down. And you can even have him look up a bit. You can have the head look up. So you, know, you still get pretty decent movement with the head even with the hood on. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I think this is a solid figure and a good representation of how the homemade costume appears in the movie. I like how the goggles protrude out of the mask on the head sculpt, and I like the hoodie function that you can have the hood up or down on the figure. Now, I personally think this figure or this costume is going to appear in the movie possibly more than, than the regular Spider-Man costume. I think he'll definitely be wearing it at the, towards the end of the movie with his final battle with the Vulture, at least based on what I've seen in the trailers. So I think if you're a fan of the movie line, this is definitely a figure you're going to want to add to your collection. Now this figure, along with the rest of the wave, has started to actually hit retail now. I picked this figure up this weekend off of Amazon.com. I'm not sure if they're still available there, but I've been told that this wave should start hitting retail shelves by May 1st, which is next week. And then online retailers like Big Bad Toy Store should have them up for pre-order and quite possibly in stock by June 1st. Now we'll have a full image gallery for this figure up at MarvelousNews.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Also, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. And you can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.